Hey bestie, so I pulled some cards here real quick and I wanna talk about it because you are being powered up. You are about to take off, so let's get it. I figure the view of the ocean is way prettier. So we'll just hold the cards up here, but we have bullied because of your light. This is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Cups. You have a lot of individuals that literally they see you and they instantly judge you because they operate in ego. They don't know who you truly are. They don't understand your divine protection and they don't even see the wrongdoings as they're doing it. Spirit is letting you know that you, they are anchoring through you. You are connected directly to source and you have nothing to fear with the Eight of Swords and the reverse here. I feel like things are actually really organized and they've all been setting in place. It's like every single brick that was thrown at you was polished, shined into a diamond and you're building a foundation from it. A lot of these individuals uh, think that they're connected to spirit, but they're not. Their clown chakras are activated, but their crown chakra is blocked. They have entity attachments, and this shows up here with the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. They're about to go through major karma, baby. Spirit is coming in to rescue you and teach these people a major lesson. Don't fuck with thy anointed. Everything is working out in your favor. Your haters are bringing you business, okay? It's free advertisement here with the moon card in the reverse. It's going to be blatantly obvious that these individuals have gone out of their way to try and attack you, to try and bring you down here, that they're not actually connected, that everything that they do is an absolute projection of their own self-imposed limitations here. With the moon card in the reverse, what happens in the dark is coming to light and you're seeing through the bullshit, you're powering up and you're getting ready for your new beginning. Spirit is saying that you are a master alchemist. So use this experience as inspiration. Everybody that came for you was part of the plan. They were all here to help you level up. They were helped to here to help you, inspire you, to give you some sort of wisdom, some sort of insight here so that you can use it in your favor. The thing is, is energy is energy. So if you they wanna throw it at you, then you get to turn around, alchemize it into your favor and turn that negativity that they throw at you into abundance. Turn that negativity that they throw into you into opportunity. Again, all of this was in your favor, whether you're aware of it or not. Bottom of the deck, we do have abusing divination. Your energy is cloaked and this person is delusional. Again, they're delusional. They have some sort of entity attachments. This already came up here. Um, but they are definitely either going to tarot readers and getting readings on you or they're consistently pulling cards on you. I'm hearing obsessed. I just heard is an understatement. They are obsessed with pulling energy on you. Yeah, you're about to go through some sort of spiritual inheritance. All right, it says paid your dues. You're free of karmic debt. It's definitely time for you to invest your money, all right, during this time period right now. Your words are spells, so make sure you're changing your inner narrative. Watch your crown chakra. Again, they're trying to project a lot of negativity on you. Be that master alchemist and alchemize it into your favor. I love you.